Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode. And in this episode, we discuss about this keyword which is used as a end of file indicator. And we usually use this indicator when we don't want to write into the file anymore. So uh, let's go and see this example that we have in here. We have the file data structure and the pointer that has been created and initialized to null initially. This is a file pointer indicator that is going to be used with the fopen function. This fopen function is going to open the abc.txt file in the write mode and will return uh, the pointer to this file pointer. Now we also have a character array of word which we are going to use to store some words. After that we are prompting the user to enter any word and that word is going to be written to the file that we have specified and that is abc.txt. The user inputs uh, the word and we are going to store it into this into this word character array. And we also check whether the end of file indicator was used by the standard input, that means by the keyboard. So if end of file indicator exists within the keyboard input, that means that we do not want that this negation. This negation operator means that if there is an existing end of file indicator in the standard input, then it makes uh, this statement false, the while loop will end and the file will be closed. Otherwise, the while loop will continue running and will ask for more and more words to be written to the file. And as soon as the end of file indicator is entered into the standard input keyboard, then the while loop will stop and close the file. And that's it. Let's go and run this program to see how it works. So we want to enter a word to be written to the file. We want to write hi. We want to write hello. And we want to write how are you. And at the end, we have stopped entering and we will enter the end of file indicator that is control Z in Windows. So this is a control Z that I entered on my keyboard and this is specific to Windows. In Mac OS or Linux, this could be different. Now enter and as you can see, we've stopped reading from the user. And that's it. Let's go and check this file in here. And you can see that all of these words were written to the file. In fact, what we could have done is that we could have put a space in here, then there would be space between each word. Now if I run this program once again and try with the space, hi, how are you in the file? And that's it. Let's go and see this file. And now we have these spaces between these words. And that's it for this episode. I hope this has been informative for you. And I would like to see you in the coming episodes. Stay tuned.